Fala aí galera, bem-vindos ao Mundo Nantão de volta com mais um vídeo para vocês no canal E dessa vez estamos de volta com Game of Thrones, vamos lá Vamos retomar de onde nós paramos, vamos nessa How bad is it? <laughs> My stall Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you. I just... It's all right. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. <sighs> I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. Pô, não tem nenhuma bengala, nada, velho. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though. I think you'll find that much has changed. Ah. 
that's all black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Finais nada para fazer aqui. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate. Entramos. New arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Ele is Mola. Huh. It's warm. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the war? You thief. A raper. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Beleza, vamos lá. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Vamos lá, beleza. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. 
Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run-in with Walder Frey, He's did a you? bloody cripple. And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. What's weaker? Your legs or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Vamos lá. You're treating them like the wine guests. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole. I've told you, I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. 
The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just handle it. We could keep them fed, or take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. Beleza, galera. Então, por hoje é só. Se você gostou, like, favorita, se inscreva no canal caso vocês não sejam inscritos ainda. Um grande abraço para vocês. Até a próxima. Valeu, falou e fui.